Kyo, A.K. the Kyo. <laughs> Anywho, um, before me doing the video, give me that like, share my video, comment down below, all that good stuff. Tell your friends, tell your family, anybody. Let them know about me. Um, if you want a shout out, let me know. And if you are not new, I'm happy that you share them out. If you are new, I'm happy that you're here to listen to the video. Um, it's Wednesday today, and it's the alpha new for me. It's 12. 46 for me. Anywho, um, I don't think I did this, this feel before. I don't think so on my chair. Um, but it's good to talk about it for other people, to help other people. So, I'm gonna talk about the whole hell stuff like that, like, um, and I might do a little story time of what I usually did when I was probably, I don't know how old, I don't remember how old I was when I saw I did this to myself, because I would tell you the reason why I did it. But, it's good to talk about it. Like, like, I'm an open book. Yes, I am shy at the same time. Um, I don't mind asking for questions, but even though I don't like asking for questions, it's not my thing. Um, if you want to ask me questions, um, it's not my thing, but I find my best to do that stuff, but it's hard to do that. I don't know why it's so hard for me to ask questions. Like, I'm not afraid to ask. I'm just shy. I've been shy since I was a kid. Like, even in school, I was shy. I was shy in high school, too. And this is the reason why I didn't have that many friends in my life. So, anywho. I think I was... I think I saw I do this when I was probably... I know I was in school at this time. I don't remember how old I was, but I remember every day coming home from school. Everybody in my life felt right, that I was this happy, shy kid all the time. No, I was not that happy at all. At first, I didn't really like school. Everybody here that was just happy. 
remember every time I play with like every time my mom or my dad or anybody asked me how school and all how was your day and all this stuff. And that's pretty much the only thing that I can talk about every day when when I come home from school because it was hard for me to get open. the wall before when I was upset. I used to set my guard very, very hard when I'm upset. I used to fold stuff around in my room. Um, yeah, and then I started to
even though at that time I was very bad at doing that and now it's kick up and from that day on when I started doing Mussolini I saw that hate on a lot and I still do that hair or people decide to not follow me anymore too on TikTok and it's very hard but you know you don't know what's going on and I'm still really upset about it and yeah so I'm so really I still say stuff like that sometimes when I do feel to pray. When somebody asks me if I feel to pray, I don't talk because it's better to not talk when you're not feel like yourself.
I'm not mad at him at all. I'm just mad that he is not around and I'm sad that because I miss him a lot and I love him and he was very really close to me and that day that broke my heart but I don't feel like saying his name because I don't need to because I don't respect him but this happened It's more sad when you have kids too. That breaks my heart more. And I, if he was still here, I would tell him, um, tell him how much I love him and care about him, and give him a big hug. Because when you die, you will not come back at all. You will be, be dead for a long time, for a long time. Like when you're dead, you will have like the stuff you want to do right now that may be a bit too big.
and in the tree of so happy happy so you're amazing I love you all so goodbye